Well, unless you've been living under a rock somewhere, you know there's going to be a special session on guns at the state legislature coming up on August 21st. The governor has called that special session, taken a lot of heat for it, especially from gun groups who aren't happy one bit. In fact, one is advocating that he be censured uh, by lawmakers for even calling the session. And Democrats aren't happy either because they feel like it's it's pretty watered down. So that's the, the premise of where we're at. Uh, Susan, I'll start with you. Uh, what are your thoughts about what this means for Governor Lee specifically? And he wouldn't call the special session, I wouldn't think, unless he knew he had the votes for something to pass regarding uh, gun safety. Well, I think it was a, 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 an emotional call for him because of what he and his wife went through with the shooting at Covenant School months ago. And uh, I think he had to do something. I would hope that he d wouldn't call it without knowing that he had at least a bunch of votes for it. I hope he doesn't call for the vote unless he knows he has the votes. Uh, that said, I really think it's mostly a feel-good dog and pony show for the governor. I don't really see anything substantive coming, that's going to come out of it. Otis, it seems like he's putting most of his political hope on the red flag law specifically. The other things may or may not pass. Uh, you've been skeptical from the beginning, though, about whether anything will pass. Do you remain uh, that way? Yeah, I'm still that way. Uh, and now it looks like it's, it is going to happen. But if he's putting all his hopes on red flag laws, uh, I think his hopes are going to be dashed here. Because I don't see this supermajority Republican legislature doing anything about red flags. They may do something about mental health to some degree. Mm -hmm. They may strengthen school security to some degree, but I think that's going to be it. And there's some worry that there's going to be some significant strengthening of laws affecting juvenile crime. And I know a lot of uh, juvenile court judges and stuff are concerned because they feel like this came out of nowhere. So we'll see what happens with that, too. Reverend Keith? It could happen, but I do think mental health will be the win. I agree with Otis on that. I think you'll see additional funding put in place so that we can help people with those concerns. We have a big problem with that in Shelby County. Uh, we have a big problem with that across the state of Tennessee. Yeah. And so we really do need to alleviate some of that pressure. And then background checks, hopefully with mental health triggers, that are already known prior to a person going in to get a license or to purchase a gun, that will make a difference. Okay, we'll talk about this more uh, next guy. week as we lead up to the special session, but uh, we're gonna take a break now. When we come back, we're gonna talk about some of the more interesting <coughs> Memphis City Council races out there in just a moment.